Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're now in the church. And it's a long cut scene, so I'll stay after. What happened here? Everything's pretty much a mess now. Well, whatever happened, it seems to have occurred right around midnight. Whoever did this must be incredibly strong. Not to mention incredibly angry. Someone's in trouble. Are you all right? Who was that? So many strange things have happened tonight. I do not know who to trust anymore. So I, I must ask you first, who are you and why are you here? My name is Robert, and I'm a, a friend of Jacques Sonier. Sister Sandrine left a worrisome message on Sonier's answering machine, so I came to see if I could help. I am afraid that you are too late. Sister Sandrine is dead. Give him a state of thanks. I imagine she was murdered. Yes, the furious man with the red eyes and bare skin. He wanted something, but Mr. Sunquen could not or would not give it to him. He killed her in a fit of rage and tore the place apart. But he left just as anger, so I do not think he found what he was looking for. And that monk who attacked you? They came afterwards, and they took some items of value and the candlestick that he used to kill Sister Sunquen. I think, I think they were trying to hide what happened then they would need to silence you as well. Yes, and now you. Good point. Did Sister Sandrine mention anything to you about this? No, but she did do some very strange things earlier this night. She is usually a very open and warm person, but she was acting unusually secretive. What did you see? She went to play at the Stations of the Cross, which is a regular occurrence here, but it was not in the proper order, which is very strange. Then she went down into the crypt, and I have never seen anyone go down there before. Mainly because it is always sealed. I looked around, but I could not find the way to open it. Could you notice anything else? Anything at all? Well, I did not think much of it, but she was also carrying around a flask of oil. That is all I can think of. I see. Thank you, Sister, uh... Marguerite. Sister Marguerite is my name. I'm going to see if I can find out what Sister Sandrine was doing. I may need your help later, Sister Marguerite. Is there a safe place you can hide here? My room is next door. The lock is sturdy. Knock when you need help, and I will assist if I can. Oh, and if you hear the Latin chants, be wary. The monks are nearby. Okay, okay. that whole thing that Sister Sandrine said was um, pretty much one of the words um, a passage in the book it is from the Bible in the book of Job um, I believe it's um, it's chapter 38 verse 11 hither shalt thou come but no further she actually stated what the thing is what it was so that's pretty much that now you won't recognize this mission or anything, this area from the movie or the book, it is not there. They added an extra place. This mission, I think, is pretty pointless, because all it is is, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but I'll, spo I'll tell you at the end, this whole mission is pretty much about um, finding one thing and one thing alone. It's the monk that knocked unconscious. He's wearing some sort of outfit, but all the cloth is tightly bound. That might be to stop the cloth from rustling when he's moving. And she is right about that whole Latin chat thing. Latin, Latin chants. They will start chanting and it freaks me out sometimes. Alrighty. Another thing, she will help you if you go to her. I can show you one of them right now. This is her door. It's Robert. Oh, good. I, I just remember that Sister Something was carrying around two statues. They might be related to what she was doing tonight. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. Yeah, that's pretty much that. She'll give you hints, but they're not very important. 
especially since you have me and there's a small bandage there. I forgot about it. There are pictures in the very bottom of this that show um, the whole mission of Jesus and carrying the cross, I believe. I will show you those I'm s because they do have actually some importance to this whole thing. Sister Marguerite mentioned that Sister Sandrine was carrying lamp oil with her before she died. How could these not be this be important? Sorry, I cut them both at the same time and he started talking twice. You won't be able to see anything from here, I don't think. No, the monks don't start walking around there until later. But there will be monks down there, and I hate them. I hate them so much. Alrighty, now you have to go into Sister Sandri's room. This is Sister Sandri. There's a note in her hand. Four phone numbers. And there's a fleur de lis symbol on it. Sister Sandrine must have been called members of the Priory of Sion when she was attacked. Ah, I thought so. That Jacques Sonnier's member at the Louvre. More proof that Sonnier was a member of the Priory. That's pretty much, yeah, this was pretty much just finding out a whole bunch of things about the whole... Poor Sister Sandrine. It looks like someone hit her with a heavy object. What kind of monster? This is what kind of monster would do this. Sorry, I forgot I says one more thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just explain getting out who the Grand Masters were, pretty much. She seems to be reaching out towards something. Something under her bed? I don't hardly get that. She could she could just fall in that way, but, you know, whatever. There is a note here. Matthew 7.14. It's obviously a passage from the Bible, but the numbers are bold. Maybe they have a double meaning. They do actually have a double meaning, and this was the mission that bothered me the most, because I never realized what the heck I was supposed to do for it. But I do now, so it does help. I'm going to see if any of these drawers have any bandages in them. You know me, I get hurt quite a bit. <laughs> okay. I'll show you this thing later. I already know what the answer is, but I'll show you where you're finding the answer after, so I'm just going to get the answer now. I hate waiting for this, and it's pretty boring. I can't remember which side you're supposed to go to, though. Oh yeah, interact. You're supposed to go to this side. I'll sh show you where you're supposed to find the answer later. I really just rather get this done. It's a sliding puzzle. It's a pretty easy puzzle to do. I know the answer, and I'll show you guys where you find it. After. You need to move the tiles to form a word. This is, you're actually supposed to form the word scion. If, um, this is a very, you can beat this puzzle in five moves. See? All you have to do is move the N down, the A to the side, the Y to the side, the P up, and the I up, and you've got the word. And this gives you, um, a bronze slide, which is actually important. I find it really stupid though. Um, Alright, now I will show you where you find this thing. You have to go over here where Sister Sunsri's room is. And this door leads out. More monks. I think they're looking for something. I just hope it's not me and Sister Marguerite. Yes, it is. You pretty sh No monks will actually come back here after, so you just have to kill this monk, knock up this monk, monk once, and they're pigeons. And then you come over here, and there is this. If you remember seeing there was um, a weird tile on the ground before you move the end down, if you don't remember, you can rewind this video and look. But it's just this. The chap symbol system. The French used this in the late 18th century to telegraph messages from one town to the next. It's pretty much just this. And it just tells you how ev what every letter means. Like, and number. And that's pretty much all, but neither you don't need that. And I'll be right back with